I present to you the world's weirdest pencils ever. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy's age comic art and today I will be showing you guys how to make my pencils over here Why I use them how to sharpen them everything you will need to know about these pencils before we get started If you're new here, welcome to the family make sure you subscribe because the ZHC fam is on the daily grind Anyways, if you want to find out how to make these pencils, just keep watching. Let's get started All right, so my sister and I were gonna head over to Michael's we're gonna go buy the supplies I will tell you guys everything you need to buy and what to look for. Yeah, have I mentioned that's my sister? Everyone down in the comments, say hi, Faye. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so that's my sister. She's an awkward potato and once in a while a roasted potato. Oh when I come up with some good roasts. Is the full face too big? Too big, too big to fit. The, the portion size is too large. <laughs> we gotta cut it down in half. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> ah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're in Michael's now. Uh, let's go search for the pencil. Oh my goodness, look at all these art supplies. Let's see. Do they have the... Okay, what we're looking for... Oh, okay guys, we found it. It's the... We. Yes, we. Which one? Is this the Stadler? I think this is the Stadler 2mm. Oh, look at that! Dance to the song! This is our kick song! Go! Start dancing. Kick. 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 No. Kick. <laughs> okay, but I believe it's this, right? Which one is it? Let me check. I actually think this is the more updated version. Hey, we can make a brand new pencil and then there's the one... I think these are actually about the same. The Stadler. I think it's like some Mars Techno thing. You guys can check it out but it's like the Stadler 2mm, we're gonna get this and then we also need the sharpener for it which is a lead holder and I'll explain what these two things are at the bottom later on in the video so we got these two and oh okay so we need tape tape to put these together are these condoms? oh wait no they're balloons what are you talking about? <laughs> I thought they were selling condoms at Michael's I was like, hey, I gotta get myself some. Babe, <laughs> stop looking at the good deals. You're making oh, us no, Asians look bad. Yeah. We are lost. We cannot find the masking tape. All right, so we asked the person up front and... Oh, okay, okay, fine. My sister asked. No, I asked. <laughs> uh, well, it's apparently in aisle 42. Whoa, that's actually so cool. Okay, so... We found the masking tape here, but we need to find which one to get. Okay. Oh my goodness, they have, they have black... Is this masking tape? Oh, they have black masking tape. That's gonna be so sick. But this is so tiny. Look at the thickness of this versus this. Like, there's Look at this. There. Should we get this? I, I feel like that would go so well with this, just for like... Just for show, you know? Alright, so... Looks like we have everything. We just have the Stadler 2mm, we have the lead pointer, Stadler lead pointer, and I believe this is the Scotch Expressions masking tape. Okay, looks like we got everything. Okay, so that will be... So sore, I almost just fell over. This girl skips leg day all the time. I don't know what leg day is. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't even, leg day. I don't even know what it is. Playground always looks so fun. Look at that. Faith, don't film the children. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. They're gonna, they're gonna think you're a creep. <laughs> all right, let's get started, you guys. 
I also forgot to mention the lead for this is the two millimeter lead. This is the Stadler Mars Carbon lead. It's 2H. I usually like to use 2H because it doesn't smear that much. I think most comic pencilers use 2H. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do to make these super weird pencils is we are going to take this apart. Alright, you guys. I actually think this pencil is slightly fancier than mine. So we're gonna make a brand new one. Uh, what we're gonna do first, I usually like to take this off. I don't really see much point in it. Point in having it, so I'll just take it off. I think it's kinda cool because you can switch and it shows you where it is. But while making it, we don't really need it. So when we want to grip, usually you wanna see how you hold it. So find out where you hold your pencil and leave a space open for where your fingers go and then the tape will kind of be here. So this is how you hold your pencils. See how there's like a little uh, space over here? So for me, I already know where I want my tape to be. Let's go ahead and open up this tape. And this tape, putting on the pencil, I actually learned from David Finch. I saw him do it once. I tried it and it was unbelievably comfortable. It was so good. There was so much control and yeah, it just made a really big difference and from that day on I couldn't go back to my normal pencils. So let's get this open. Wow. Look at this guys, it's so cool. Let me see if it's recording. Okay, we're good to go. This is super cool. We have this tape right here. Let's see where it ends. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find where the bulge is. The bulge should be around here in this case. We'll just start it over here. You can kind of tell and see if that's where your hand's gonna be. So that's gonna be right in the middle over there. And then we're gonna start wrapping around just a few times in the middle because we want the middle to be larger than the sides. So let's wrap it. And this is actually one of my most requested videos ever because people are always interested in what pencil I use. So you start from the middle, you go from side to side, and every once in a while you wanna kinda of squeeze it down, squeeze it down like this, and keep going. So pull out a ton, and then make sure you guys get a lot more in the center because the center is really where you want all the tape to be so that there's more um, grip and control. As you can see, there's a lot of tape. We start to squish down the edges, and as you can see, we're starting to get a little bulge in the middle, and that's kind of what we want. Oh, okay, there's my dog. Okay. You can see there's still a little space left for the fingers, and we're just gonna keep wrapping it around over here. And honestly, it's up to you how much tape you wanna wrap around, because everyone has like a different grip and how much tape they would want over there. So just take the tape off every once in a while to kind of try it out. You can kind of do it like this so it wraps around tightly. And we are not just done yet. If this is about right, we're just going to add a little bit more tape at the front and the back to make sure it doesn't come off. Otherwise, it gets a little bit messy. So kind of just keep pressing it down. Press it down, and that's, I think that's about what I would like. Some people like it thicker. Yeah, I, I couldn't find a way to say that without, yeah, okay, never mind. So I, I think that's about right. So we're gonna go one last round. We're gonna make sure this is very, very tight so that it doesn't come apart. We have this right here. Go all the way around. Make sure it fits everything together. And we will end it at the side. Okay. And I will put a little bit more tape on the end so that it doesn't fall off like that. All right, that looks pretty cool. So we have our
So we have our pencil over here. And there we have it. All done. And this lead is what it comes with. Let me show you guys real quick how to sharpen it. Let's do the other side first. So here is a non well, a lead that's not sharp. And this is the lead pointer that we are gonna use. And a lot of people don't really know how to use the lead pointer, so I'll show you guys real quick how it's used so that there's no confusion. So with the lead pointer, what you want to do is there's two sides. There's a side where you can have a sharper end, and there's one where it can be more stubby. So usually I like to put it at the sharper end. I put it all the way out, and this determines the length of the lead. So you put it in like this, you click the top, and then you go to that length. So it's whatever this length is over here. And a lot of people have no idea what this is. I will show you guys in just a second. So you put it in, you go around, round, round. Okay, now it should be fairly sharp. See it, you guys? And what you do with this now is you stick the lead in there to clean off the excess lead, and your lead's good to go. That's pretty much it. And this is one of the best pencils in my opinion because it can vary in thickness very, very easily and there's a lot of comfort in the grip when you hold it like this. It gives you a lot of control over the pencil. I used to use this, but it was a little bit too thick and too high up. Some people might like this if you have like a bigger hand, but for me, this works the best. I present to you the world's weirdest pencils ever. Thanks so much for watching you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Here are the pencils we made. Make sure you guys try it out, let me know how you guys like it if you guys do use it. This video shout out goes to Ninja Artist. If you want to win a shout out too, all you have to do is join the notification squad. Turn post notifications on by clicking that little bell and let me know down in the comments when you're done. Anyways, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video because I'm posting every single day. Keep those pencils moving. Those weird pencils moving. Bye.